Hi guys, my name is Abdurrahman Sadiqi, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google Certified Educator. Today I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about the Google Certified Educator exam and how you can apply it so you can become a certified teacher. Quick note, on my channel there are quite a few teaching and Google Classroom tutorial videos for educators and students. If that appeals to your interests, consider subscribing. Google Certified Educator is a certification made by Google for teachers that have proven to be adept at using Google's G Suite for Education to enhance their students' learning. G Suite for Education itself is a bunch of tools that Google has made specifically for education, most prominent among them Google Classroom, but also Google Slides and Google Sheets and of course Google Docs. The Google Certified Educator certification that you get from Google is your proof that you know how to use all these G Suite for Education tools effectively. In a digital age of learning, it's a great resume builder, and more importantly, it teaches you how to actually use these tools in the classroom for your students. First thing is, where is the exam? Well, on Google's official website, which I've linked below, you can actually visit and see what type of certification you may be interested in. There are four different certificates aimed primarily at teachers. Certified Educator Level 1, Certified Educator Level 2, Certified Trainer, and Certified Innovator. Certified Educator is for teachers that want to use G Suite for Education, Google, in the classroom. Level 1 is for Basic, and Level 2 is Advanced. Certified Trainer is someone who actually trains other teachers to use these tools in the classroom. And Certified Innovator is for somebody who actually wants to work on new projects with Google for their innovation. The one we'll be working on for this tutorial is Google Certified Educator Level 1, which most teachers can use. If you can pass the exam, which is a three-hour exam, you will actually be able to call yourself a Google Certified Educator and use those tools in your classroom. So let's start with the three steps, as always, of taking any test. Number one, where do I get the training? Well, if you go to Google's website, which again I've linked below, you're actually going to see modules where you can practice the ideas that are going to be tested on this. The modules reflect exactly what is going to be on the exam, and they train you how to use different aspects of Google. It is crucial training that actually shows you what you need to do to implement Google in the classroom. The modules are about 15 hours in length, are available for completely free, and if you already know something about Google, for the most part, they will go quicker. I was done with most of mine in about 5 hours, but again, even if you're completely new, they are very detailed and I definitely recommend making those 15 hours of time for them before you take the exam. Number two is the practice questions. Where can I actually see practice questions for this exam? Well, first of all, no genuine Google Certified Educator teacher is going to give you the questions. That is because Google makes us sign an NDA or a non-disclosure agreement every single time you take the exam. There are practice questions on Google's website, but there are very few. But at the end of the day, if you're going through the training, the test itself is very straightforward and follows exactly what you're supposed to do. So ideally, if you plan on using these tools in the classroom, you are much, much better off actually doing the training than trying to look for the questions on the exam. Finally, the third part of the exam is actually taking it. When you go on the website, there is a $10 fee for the level 1 exam and a $25 fee for the second level exam. You can take it up to three times in one year if you fail. It's 180 minutes with no breaks, and all you need is a laptop and a webcam. The webcam serves as Google's way of seeing that you are indeed the person taking the test. If you pass it, you need 80% right. They won't tell you what you actually got, but they will tell you that you passed and you receive your certificate rather shortly. So with all this information, what I recommend more than anything, get to practicing. Those training modules are great, they reflect exactly what is on the exam, and if you can finish those, you'll do just fine and be able to implement Google in your classroom with a nifty little addition to your resume. If you have any questions, do let me know. This is Pax Honey Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.